Do you want to know what scares Boston Terriers? In this video, I actually surveyed over 300 Boston Terrier parents, and these are the top five things that their Boston Terrier is afraid of. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over 11 years now, or Queen Bella right there. Some of you have asked about that photo and I wanted to just kind of throw it in there. I got it as a gift for my sister. Okay, in this video, I'm covering what are Boston Terriers afraid of? Now this, in general, I think this could really apply to all dogs, but I specifically asked the Boston Terrier Society Facebook page, which has over 20,000 Boston Terrier enthusiasts, and I asked them, what is their Boston Terrier afraid of? And I had over 378 responses, and I just tallied these up, and I wanted to highlight the top seven. I know this video is all about the top five, but the reason I wanted to highlight the top seven is because number one was that their Boston Terrier was afraid of nothing. And then coming in at number seven was their Boston Terrier is afraid of everything. So I just wanted to highlight everything that's in the middle, those top five in the middle. Now, every Boston's gonna be different as far as what they're afraid of. Bella here, her number one fear has always been storm drains, which we eventually got her no longer afraid of storm drains by just exposing her to it. I think I might make a video in the future just how we did that. But I think this video can be helpful for all those brand new Boston Terrier parents out there or people who have had a Boston Terrier for a really long time. Just see how your Boston relates to other Bostons. So how I've organized the video, we're going to start with the top five, basically the least common to the most common. And once again, if we look at the top seven, number one was nothing and number seven was everything. So we're just diving into those middle five. So coming in at number five are storms. A lot of people had responded saying that their Boston was specifically afraid of storms. Coming in at number four are loud noises, which I would say this was definitely the case with Bella whenever she was younger, like being afraid of the vacuum, that type of loud noise. And then of course, fireworks, anything that's basically sudden and sharp, Bella's not a fan of. Okay, coming in at number three are vacuums. And I really think that relates to basically being a loud noise. Coming in at number two are fireworks. And that's once again, going back to the loud noise. That's been kind of the theme throughout all of these things that Boston Terriers are afraid of. And coming in at number one is thunder. Once again, if it's something sudden and sharp in regard to noise, chances are your Boston's not gonna like this. Like I said, this definitely applies to all dogs, but I asked Boston Terrier parents specifically. So if you have a brand new Boston Terrier puppy, you know that you wanna try to avoid those loud noises because it will startle them. Now, some other notable mentions that people had mentioned, basically ones where at least I saw, you know, four of the same comments. So we had, they were afraid of bags, balloons, baths, brooms, car rides, the dark, farts, lightning, their nails being clipped. Some of them were afraid of rain, separation. And this one surprised me was the vet. And the reason it surprised me, I thought more people would mention that. So question of the day, what scares your Boston Terrier or what is your Boston Terrier afraid of? Put it in the comments below. And this could just be another running tally as far as a survey that other Boston parents say their Boston's afraid of. And then people coming to this video in the future can go ahead and go to the comments section and they have an additional resource. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. And if you wanna help support this YouTube channel, you can always check out the Boston Terrier store. If you just go to the YouTube homepage, click on the store tab, you'll find everything that I've personally created there. Or you can check the merchandise that you see right below this video. And if you wanna see other great videos that I've created here on this YouTube channel, just wait till the end of this video. Some other videos of mine will pop up. And as always, until next time, life is better with the Boston.